Hey everyone, welcome to Crafty Corners YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a doormat using your Cricut. To get started, grab some permanent outdoor vinyl and get your design cutting. The vinyl has to be permanent. I would recommend using either Cricut's permanent vinyl or Oracal 651 for this project. Also, the smaller your design, the harder it's going to be to paint, so try to cut your stencil as big as you can. Once it's finished cutting, carefully remove the vinyl from the mat and weed the letters so that it looks like a stencil. Then we're going to transfer our vinyl to transfer tape. Carefully apply it and then use a scraper tool to burnish the tape onto the vinyl. Once it's on, slowly remove the paper backing from the vinyl. Then we're going to apply the vinyl and transfer tape to the mat. This is definitely going to be the trickiest part because it's not going to completely stick like you're used to. But I promise if you use permanent vinyl, it will stick enough. The first thing is to line up your design where you want it. I like to use a tape measure to make sure that it's centered and straight. Next, press the vinyl and transfer tape into the mat and use a scraper tool to burnish it down as well. Then starting in one corner, slowly peel the transfer tape off. As you peel, you'll have to keep pressing the vinyl down into the mat. This can be a tedious process, so go slow. And just remember to keep pushing the vinyl into the mat so that you can see the core under the vinyl. Then we will paint. I highly recommend using a durable outdoor paint. You'll need something tough to withstand the wear and the tear. I've tried a lot of different paints for doormats and I found the best results with this one from Lowe's. It's actually meant for painting floors or decks and it has a polyurethane built right in it. But if you can't find this one, use an outdoor paint and you can always seal your project at the end with poly or flex seal. When I'm painting, I like to dunk my brush really good and paint it on top of the stencil. You'll actually be mostly dabbing the paint into the mat instead of brushing it, which is why I like to use large amounts of paint. The mat soaks up a lot of paint so you can be generous with this. And as you paint, you might notice that some of the vinyl starts to lift up a little bit off the mat. It's no problem, just keep pushing the vinyl down as you go. And also, applying painter's tape around the edges is always a good idea. The last thing I like to do before removing the vinyl is to touch up any spots that might need a little more paint. Then remove the vinyl from the mat and let it dry for 24 hours before using it. And there you have it, your own custom doormat. As always, you can shop for the Cricut materials on our website. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more Cricut DIYs.